In today's episode, we'll dive into what makes the young promising striker, Dominic Calvert-Lewing, so special. Calvert-Lewing was born in Sheffield, England, 1997. He began playing football for his hometown club, Sheffield United, at the age of 8 years old. He would later on sign a scholarship with the club at 16 years old. With no sign of getting minutes on the field for Sheffield, it was decided that he would go out on loan at the end of 2014 to Staley Bridge Celtic in the National League North, which is a division in England that's pretty far away from the Premier League. He returned to Sheffield as soon as in February 2015 after scoring 6 goals in 5 appearances and would go on to sign a new deal with Sheffield until 2018. He would then go out on loan again to Northampton for half a season scoring 8 goals. Despite wanting to extend his loan deal for the whole season, he was sent back to Sheffield again, only making 9 appearances for the rest of the season and most of them coming off the bench. It was no question that there was a lack of game time for the youngster. So in the summer of 2016, the last of August, he would sign for Everton, and he would only go for £1.5 million. Carrot Lewing stated that it was simply too good to refuse. Carrot Lewing would have to wait a while to make his debut though, until December 2016 against Arsenal due to an ankle injury. Now his first season wasn't really the greatest season, because he only scored one goal in 11 games. But what he showed that season was enough for the Toffees to extend his contract till 2022. Now the summer of 2017 is probably one of Carrot Lewing's most treasured memories, winning the Under-20 World Cup in South Korea. And to make it even more of a memorable tournament, he scored the game winner in the final against Venezuela. Now because of his performances in the World Cup, there were high expectations that he would have a breakthrough season after the summer. He wouldn't get that breakthrough that season though. Not getting a lot of starts in the Premier League, he would come off the bench a lot and mostly start in cup games. The next season he would go on to score 8 goals in 36 games and getting a lot more game time which helped his game flourish and grow into the kind of player he's been this season. A pure goal scorer up front for the blue Liverpool side. And his ability to hold the ball up in the build up play is essential for Everton's success. And it's not only that he's scoring goals, his work rate is crazy. He really wears his heart on his sleeve. And that's probably the biggest reason why the Everton fans love him. Sure, he's scoring goals for them as well, but it's that hard working ethic he's brought from the streets of Sheffield that's his special ingredient. And I mean, watching videos of him doing interviews and whatnot, he just seems like a fun guy overall. I mean, especially when he does things like this. It's accidental, but that's what Lascelles is unhappy about. But let's get back to football. Now the first half of the current season, the 1920 season for Everton and Carrot Loon was everything below expectations. But the arrival of Ancelotti rekindled Everton and set Dominic Calvert Lewin on fire. He's now got 13 goals in 27 league games and scoring 2 goals in the EFL Cup. Under the management of Marco Silva, he managed to get 3 goals in 13 games. Compare that to when Ancelotti arrived. Calvert Lewin scored 8 goals in 11 games. Great cross, fine header! And if not for the corona pandemic going on right now, with his form, I'm positive that he will go on to score 20 plus goals in the league. And if you have a striker that puts up 20 goals a season, you got a quality player on your hands. With his transfer value set around 25 million pounds, it's no question he's underrated. Another fact that's crazy to me is that Carver Lewin hasn't made his debut for England. I mean, even Jesse Lingard gets called up for the England squad, which is just ridiculous. Also, don't forget that Danny Welbeck, yes, the Danny Welbeck, played for England in the 2018 World Cup. Gareth Southgate has some things he needs to work out for sure. There's no doubt in my mind that Carrot Lewin is an underrated player, but everybody has their own thoughts and opinions. So feel free to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day. See ya.